Very good morning to you, speaking to us from Durban. Tell us what it's all about. Help us understand the work that you are doing. Good morning, and, and thanks for having me. Um, so, you know, the, the Phasma Alliance is really an unprecedented um, alliance of the, the, the major fractionators around the world. And the aim of the alliance is to develop a, a hyperimmune therapy uh, that is unbranded and can be used uh, by any of the companies, royalty-free, brand-free, and, and without uh, any, any need for, for additional work and, and therapies. Um, really, the goal of the alliance is to accelerate any development of, of these hyperimmune products and, and to increase our chances of success and, and to create efficiencies in that way. And once the product is eventually registered, to then um, ensure availability of this product to everybody who deserves it. Okay, so what um, is each party bringing to the table here? Uh, so every party brings a certain amount of knowledge and expertise uh, to the alliance. We've got uh, members of the alliance that are busy manufacturing the product, other members of the alliance that are engaging with regulators on clinical trials. From National Bioproducts Institute's uh, perspective, we are working with the alliance to ensure that plasma is pooled in South Africa, as well as our, our uh, partners in the National uh, Blood Transfusion Services, as well as formulation of the product for South African patients. Uh, because the products need to be differently formulated for each uh, population that we intend to treat. Okay, the focus is on plasma. How will it help us and you in the fight against COVID and people suffering from it? So those patients that have successfully fought off a COVID infection uh, have a large amount of antibodies circulating in their system, which of course help you to mount an immune defense. Unfortunately, those that have severe COVID infection usually don't have a large amount of these antibodies or any antibodies at all. So in effect, we look to take plasma from patients that have recovered from COVID. We purify the antibodies. We standardize that into a pharmaceutical therapy that has a consistent amount of antibody in each therapy that is easily administered. And that can be then administered to patients with severe COVID infections. And how uh, can it essence, help them? Well, this would help them to uh, mount an immune response uh, and, and, and help them to fight off the infection in a, in a passive manner, rather than waiting for their own immune system to generate antibodies to fight off the infection. Uh, we're hearing increasingly that people are being reinfected. So is there some sort of time frame in which you can take this plasma? Is there a danger time? There, there, is, there is a time frame uh, that that we are actually working with the blood services on defining. At the moment, it is not 100% clear, and there's a considerable amount of scientific debate around it. Uh, it is one of the, 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 the mandates of the Alliance to, to clarify exactly when patients can and cannot donate their plasma. Uh, but for the time being, scientific literature is showing that uh, you can donate for a considerable amount of time post-recovery. All right, so the trials start later this month. When will this be accessible and, and around to be used? So our hope is that the product would be available by early next year. It is contingent on a number of factors, including the successful completion of the trial, as well as you know, us collecting a considerable amount of plasma to, uh, to formulate the product and working with the regulator to then get that product approved. All right, Chanae Singh, good to talk to you.